Hi guys, it's Ellis and welcome back to another cleaning video. Today's is a morning cleaning routine and today I'm sharing with you an updated version of how I clean my home in the morning, every morning. These are just standard things. Obviously this changes slightly so the sink of my routine might change a little bit. Sometimes I make the bed before the kids go to school, sometimes I do it afterwards, some days they're at nursery and all things like that but these are always the tasks that I do every single morning. Now before I get started I want to say excuse my voice it's completely gone so if I'm a little bit high pitched and croaky that is the reason why I never normally like this as you guys probably know. No, but before I am starting any cleaning, I am making myself a coffee. I cannot start any cleaning without a bit of motivation inside me and a bit of coffee. Every mum out there and everyone knows that coffee is most definitely needed. So I'm making a cappuccino before I start my day. Now, hopefully this will obviously help get some of you guys into a routine and hopefully it'll inspire some of you guys to clean alongside me this morning or whenever it may be, you may just want to pop this on to get some cleaning motivation. Now, I am also super excited about this video because it's also in collaboration with one of my good friends, Brianna. Brianna is a mum from the US. She has two adorable children called Landon and Presley and just like me, she is a very motivational mum. She loves organising, cleaning, I mean her children and just adorable and she is doing a morning routine over on her channel as well featuring all things cleaning work and organization so if you like that kind of stuff I know you are going to love her so I will leave her link in the description box below so you can go on over and check her out and if you've come over from Brianna's channel then hi and um, I'm Ellis as I mentioned and I do lots of different videos from cleaning and organization hacks I do lots of interiors over here I also feature lots of self-motivation law of attraction finance, budgeting, hauls, you name it, I probably cover it. So if you like that sort of stuff, then I would love for you to click the little red subscribe button below if you're not subscribed already. And let me know in the comments that you've come over from Brianna's channel. And don't forget, if you're popping on over to Brianna's channel, say hi to her from me as well. But I'm gonna get started. And um, first up is the bedroom. I always start upstairs. I always work upstairs and then go down just so I can bring anything like any cups and things like that all downstairs. And it means that I can bring the laundry with me too. So I always start by making all of the beds in all of the bedrooms, clearing out any of the glasses, any of the dirty washing that may be on the floor for my husband and children because we all have messy husbands, let's face it. And then I work my way around. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write our story. Wanna shape the So once I've finished in our bedroom, I'll then head on into our ensuite. I'll just do a little tidy up of the towels. We always have a shower before bed, so I let these dry naturally before obviously I fold them back up. And then I normally switch out the towels every couple of days, but obviously today isn't one of those days. I'll also go around and give the bathroom a general tidy up. So I always like to clean the toilet, go around the sink area, and just make sure that all around it's clean and organized. The so things don't then pile up. I generally like to do the toilets either first thing in the morning or late at night. I've actually resorted to doing our bathroom toilets in the morning because I know no one's going to be generally using them all day. So I can leave bleach down them and things like that and they can soak really well. Whereas normally we're upping our bedroom of an evening so we may need to pop in and out the toilet. So that's why I've decided to do this one of a morning now. So I know I also recently shared this in my deep clean and declutter of my bathroom video, but I'm actually using the disposable dark toilet brushes as well. They are super hygienic in comparison to your normal toilet brushes. They're completely disposable. There is nothing that's kind of dirty. Um, so I really, really love these at the moment for kind of the hygiene purposes. So if you haven't tried them, I would definitely recommend checking them out.
So obviously, as you can see, there's not too much to do in the boys' bedrooms, but I will go around both their bedrooms. I'll make their beds, tidy up any toys they may have been playing with from the night before or from that morning. I'll make sure that I've opened all of our shutters to let in the light because there's nothing worse than that. And then once their bedrooms are completely tidy, I will then move on to sorting out the washing. Now, the washing has actually built up the last few days because I was a bit unwell. So I actually had a couple of piles that I went through and I did like three or four loads. So the washing has built up so much. So I normally like to put on at least one load a day and I'll normally do that first thing in the morning or last thing at night and put it on a delayed timer so that it's ready to go in the morning dependent on what I have going on in the morning. So as you can see I'm just taking all of the washing off of the line quickly. Um, a lot of it's been in the tumble as well so I've got just so much washing everywhere and then I'm going to sort it all out and then hang it all up into everyone's bedrooms. Now, generally, I wake up around half six, seven o'clock in the morning, sometimes even half seven, depending on how I'm feeling from the night before and how tired I am. But it generally means that I still manage to get a lot of this done. So generally, whilst I'm making all the beds, opening all the shutters and things like that, the boys are generally downstairs playing, they're having breakfast, and they're doing all of that before we go to school. That enables me to whiz around upstairs with them out from under my feet. However, if I don't ever manage to get any of this done, I will then just bring Parker generally upstairs with me as I have two little boys as you guys probably know and then what I do is I leave everything at the top of the stairs that I need to bring down and I bring it all down with me in these baskets to start the day's laundry so here is the first of many loads going on for the day I normally have so much to sort through I always have to check Adam's jeans because he always stores tissue and coins and all sorts in his pockets and yeah I'm just gonna pop on a load of washing and then I can get on with sorting downstairs I'll slip into your dreams tonight Just watch me break in your sweet you fall So I always leave the kitchen until the very end because normally there are cups and mugs and all things like that from here. There's also normally washing and stuff like that that needs to be taken out if the boys have got unchanged down here whilst I'm upstairs getting ready. And normally they're in here playing with toys as well and they kind of spread throughout the house. So I normally always start with the living room downstairs and then my final place will be in the kitchen. And once I've tidied up the living room, I always like to put on a candle or a wax melt or something like that, just kind of signifying the fact that the room is now tidy tidy and then it begins to let a really nice fragrance through my home which makes it feel really clean and then I move into the kitchen and as I've said to you many times before obviously I empty out this basket of stuff that I've got so this had some tea towels that I'd gotten from the washing and then I always like to tidy up the surfaces first I can't bear to start cleaning until everything has kind of been put back in its place so obviously we had hats and gloves out and all stuff like this before I went off to drop Clayton to nursery this morning so I'm just sorting it out and there's also toys and masking tape and stuff like that that Clayton had out yesterday underneath the table so I'm using the method spray and at the moment this is the wild watermelon it smells so good I cannot recommend it enough and I love it because it's all about positivity and joy and all things like that so I'm currently cleaning our table 
And the boys have had cereal this morning and you guys would have seen me use my trusty blue scraper before, but this comes out generally most mornings because there is generally like a residue of like breakfast and cereal that stick to our table. It's not the easiest to clean, I must say. But this little blue scraper, it was the best thing I've ever bought. I think it was like a pound or so off of Amazon and it does the trick. So I always go around and use that and then I'll just go around and tidy up all the other work surfaces as well. Watch me pray. So of a morning, I always empty our dishwasher and I take out all of our dishes. And then that means that throughout the day, I can make sure that I'm actually loading everything back into the dishwasher as I go along. So nothing builds up in the sink or anything like that. We always put our dishwasher on last thing of an evening, as you'll probably see in my evening cleaning routines that I've done in the past. And that just means everything's ready to go. There's nothing left out on the side and everything's sorted. I cannot bear to look at piles of dishes and cups and all things like that on the side. And then anything that can't go in the dishwasher I just manually hand wash and get that sorted and put away in the cupboards because I am obsessed with having clear minimal worktops I hate clutter it just makes it makes it look so messy and it really kind of plays with my brain a little bit so I love everything being put away and in its place
So then I'll make sure that all of the work surfaces and the sink are clean. I will move the rubbish to the front door along with any recycling that I've taken out because we always wash our recycling through in the dishwasher so it's all clean when it goes outside so we don't attract like pests and stuff like that. Um, and then I will pop some Zoflora in the sink. I'm using Twilight Garden this morning with some hot steam to make our house smell lovely and fragrance. And then I move on to our hallway. So this is always a bit of a bomb site. So here are some dirty clothes. Obviously Clayton's taken off like his pajamas. He always brings Tigger down because that's his bear that he has of a morning so I'm just sorting out them and then obviously when we're coming in and out we always have coats which I like to put away and likewise we always have shoes as well so I'll do that and then what I'll have done is now the recycling's at the front door I can take that outside get that clean and then as you guys know my white porcelain tiles make so much mess they look dirty from one little footstep so every single morning every single evening and sometimes midday I quickly go over this little porch area here and I'll quickly give it a little hoover and a mop just to kind of make sure that everything is up and gone and it's looking nice and clean and that is it that about summarizes my morning routine it doesn't take very long I would probably say about 30 40 minutes in all to get all of this done so it's not very long but it just helps make sure my house stays very very clean all day long don't forget to go on over and check out Brianna's channel if you haven't seen her already she's absolutely amazing like I said and she's got her morning routine so I'd love for you to go on over check her out and tell her I sent you but that is everything from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed, then I would love you to subscribe. And I'll see you all again in another video very shortly. Bye, guys.